Hello, my Leo dragons. Wow. Huh. We'll see if that comes out again. Um, welcome to your bonus reading. You made it for April. Barely. So please do make sure that you view, like, subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. It's always nice because then you get told whenever I put up new videos. But um, you can uh, please do like the video and share it with friends. Um, the more likes that you have for your videos from the past month will determine um, who gets bonuses for the next time around. So be sure to check them all out, okay? I also do tons of readings. I do weeklies, I do according to the moon, according to the season, um, and then I'm doing monthlies, and then I'm also um, doing the bonuses. So that's why the bonus one, it's important that you do, because if you want it, I might not have time to get through all 12. So I'm doing those ones um, by the most viewed. So let's get some cards. So when I do the bonus reads, we're pulling them out a little bit differently. So I'm just letting them fly out. I read these ones. This is sort of how I do personal readings, unless I'm guided to otherwise. And um, it's, um, oh, why are these like that? Okay, I also only take them in the upright. Oh, high priestess is there. This has some like, oh, don't fall all the way down there, please. Oh, there we go. Wow, Leo, what's going on? Uh, is there any more cards? Leo, like, seriously. Let's see what's going on. Because you just started with the Ten of Cups. So you're starting April in a pretty good place. Right? There doesn't always have to be an issue. Let me just see what this is. And then we'll get going with our reading. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Okay. So let me turn these upright and let's see what's going on. Okay. So oh, now I'm getting a little bit of a story. We always have some sort of drama somewhere in our life, right? And so it's all good. It's all good. So it's always lessons. If we stopped learning with life, then it really wouldn't have any value, would it? Sorry guys, I just realized I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering, oh, there, I think that fixed the, ah, oh, okay, sorry. I've been trying to fix the color switching thingy happening on me, and apparently I'm not being very successful with this. So, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to figure it out. If anybody has any master skills at how to fix that for me. Oh my gosh, at the bottom of the deck, look, you have the lovers. I haven't even gotten there yet. Okay, let's get going. Leo, you have the Ten of Cups. So something has um, come to a completion. Something has ended. And um, it's something to do with family. Um, you're secure, you have unity. Something good is happening, right? Um, and you have the fool, so you took a risk, okay? You took a risk to do it. It could be a new start. It could be a new relationship. Um, so good for you. But now just be careful here. So this is sort of the only warning that I'm getting here so far. As I have the four of pentacles, I have the moon. So the moon is at Something isn't as it seems. The moon has a dark side, and sometimes I get different feels for this. For this one, I really definitely get the feeling. Um, it's not your energy. I feel get the feeling like somebody isn't being honest. Somebody is lying. Somebody is um, not truthful. Um, I, I just... I don't get a very good feeling with this moon at all. I feel like somebody's being deceptive. And then with this Four of Pentacles, so the Four of Pentacles can mean um, uh, lots of good things. Like it could go ahead with the Ten of Cups with being prosperous. But if you look at him, I see him clinging to that pentacle. So, and standing on the other two, right? Now he has one, so we might be appearing like at the top of his head, he might be appearing like he's stable, but I don't think he is. I think he's greedy. Um, whatever energy this is, 
be careful because look, you have the star. You're hopeful of, yeah, guys, you're hopeful of the six of wands. Okay. So you're hoping to get recognition and you're hoping to have success with whoever this person is, whatever this energy is. Um, I can't even read these yet because I need more cards to clarify what's going on here. You took a risk. And you have this. You took a risk. Clarify the moon. No, that wasn't clarifying. Clarify the moon, please. I don't get any feeling on if it's like love or if it's like uh, like finances or something. I don't get any feeling. I just get this this like warning, right? Um, that one. I just have this warning. Yeah. Got the seven of wands. Yeah, it's clarify the four of pentacles, please. Come on. The tower. Okay. I think. This isn't your energy. This is somebody else going through something. They're fighting and they're being um, difficult. Um, this could also be you in your mind as well. Um, but I really see you as that you've moved ahead. And then it's sort of like this. And then you pick up here again. Do, 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 do. But you have this in the middle in your energy. And I don't know if it's you. And look, the devil's on the bottom. Okay. Clarify the tower. If you already know this and you've already gone through this, I'm sorry that I'm taking so long to clarify, but it's like it was messed up. Because the moon, I always see it as sort of being two-faced. Um, and it's very messed up. Um... Yeah, there's there, this person is coming to you with a message. Yeah, and they're pretending to be the King of Pentacles. That's why you think this. Okay, and then you're hopeful. Okay, so um, you guys got to be careful that you're not being manipulated. Seriously. Um, <sighs> clarify the star. Please. Justice. Okay. So your your I'm trying to find the words. Um, you guys have so many major arcana here. Um you're hoping that this is going to give you some sort of um balance that some sort of truth okay so you're still in this um manipulative um mode here whatever this is <sighs> temperance yeah so you watch that this person doesn't have you sitting and waiting i have a feeling like you're sitting and waiting to see what's going to happen here because you were so happy before you were so happy before. And look, you have your nine of cups. So, but they're also sitting there like this, arms crossed with all the cups up over ahead. So it's almost like, well, I was happy and somebody took my cup. Who the heck took my cup, right? And, um, oh, guys. Okay. 
you will be leaving this situation. You'll be putting it behind you and moving towards stability. And it's funny because they're walking towards the high priestess. So you're going to boss up. Okay, you're going to go into your intuition. You're going to heal in your subconscious. Yeah, and you're going to be doing that by going into your four of wands, which is sort of a mindfulness state. It's withdrawing, but it's withdrawing with the intent of... Um, um, yeah, look, leaving it behind you. You're going to do it. It's going to be this. It's going to be a tough month for you guys, but you're going to do it. You're going to leave it behind you as soon as you internalize. And I think you really have to see this for what it is. And I get the feeling, sorry guys, that this really wasn't what you thought it was because this person was there. Okay. But then as soon as you start to move past it, right, it's, it's going to be a lot of remorse. Okay. You're going to be, um, you're going to be um, reflecting, but you're also going to be recovering, okay, from this. So that's, you know, it's, it's good, um, but it's, it's regretful, but it's absolutely necessary. And then look, now the Ace of Wands comes in, see? So then you get inspired again, okay? So is there any other cards to go after the Six of Swords? Because you're going to get into your high priestess power. You're going to own it. Okay? This this seems like... I hate it when people say the universe is testing you. It's almost like you didn't quite um, learn the lesson. So it's just coming back. And... Oh, yeah. Look. It's going to come back. And so this could be somebody coming back. It's funny that as I said that. It could be somebody coming back from your future, and they could be offering you gifts. Now, yeah, here we go. Hermit, Queen of Swords. Yeah, so you're going to be going internal, okay? You're going to be like the Hermit and the High Priestess, and you're going to come out Queen of Swords. You're going to get your mind under control, and you're going to take ownership of this. Yeah, good job, guys. Okay, I'm going to see if any other cards want to come out. I'm pretty sure we have a really good idea. So, yeah, so you have the Eight of Coins. So, it's try, while this is all going on, try to focus on, um, yeah, focus on your uh, hard work. Okay, just try to stay focused on something to keep moving you forward, right? And then you have your Nine of Cups, and this Nine of Cups is a little bit different. This one, he's actually happy, and it's all around him, and you can see it. So these two came out together. So try to see things that you do have, right? Even though whatever is going on around you is negative, see what you do have. Can I get another? Okay, here we go. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is, um, well, it is hard work and responsibilities, but I feel like you're actually taking responsibility for whatever this is, and you're managing your own um, sort of life path here now. So you sort of, you know, you, you just took a breath and you, you figured it out. Do you see that clear divide that I have here? I don't want that energy moving forward, right? That's that tower. That's right there. And that's just like new. The tower does not destroy anything that's beautiful. I, I absolutely adore that thing. Okay, top card. Flow. Oh, Gemini has this too, I think. Find an easier path forwards. Surrender the outcome and release your expectations. I think that's important because what I got in my head was that you already had healed from this and then it came back and it sort of, some of the key terms that are used these days are trigger. It sort of brought everything back for you and then you had to go back and do a little bit more healing, but this time it's easier, okay? It's not gonna take the months that it took before. It's not gonna take the years. It's like, no, I've done that. I'm done, I'm good. Like, it's just like, no, you just need to go. Let me, let me live my life. Okay? Okay, Leo. Love you. Bye.